the first bilingual church is moving ahead. They have three beautiful baptisms. God bless the church and the leadership. It's very impressive to see this congregation ministering the family. How many of you are happy with this decision they have expressed? What happened today in your church? We had three people that gave their lives to know the Lord. So this is Yannette Perez, who just got baptized today. This is Naomi Amadi, who just got baptized today. And this is Linda Cousin, who just got baptized today. Personal ministries is the work of all of us. And at our church, we're big on small groups. And we basically make sure that everyone is using their God-given talents to share the gospel with the world. And so everyone here is studying the Bible with people at the church. And small group is sort of like church outside of church. And by learning more about Christ, it's contagious. And God is using each one of us to meet the people that are close to us in our families, our schools, our jobs, and our communities. And by doing that, he's growing our church, and we're thankful for him. How many small groups do you have in the church? Five small groups right now. Five small groups. In the Spirit to Amen. 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 This year we are around the 10 vacuums. Praise God. First Christian Assembly, Pentecostal. But when I worked in Newark, I met a young man. We were talking about Jesus, and he says, do you want to look at my Bible studies? And I says, what church do you belong to? He said, Seventh-day Adventist. I said, I never heard of that. <laughs> so uh, he had 24 Bible studies and was giving them to me one at a time. And when I would finish, I'd give it back to him, and I was using the Bible as my textbook. So when I got to lesson 12, and I saw that Sunday was not the seventh day, because I thought it was. 